Papua New Guinea hosts 7% of the world's biodiversity in less than 1% of the total global landmass. And in its untouched virgin environment lives small six-legged livestock that play a crucial role on the planet. Of the three types of bees that live in a colony, some bees develop specialized structures to harvest nectar, which we call the honeybees. They search for high protein pollen in flowers and the plants present them with sugar rich liquid known as nectar. And they contribute to about 35% of global food production and they're worth more than $577 billion globally. A complex design, the honeybee has two compound eyes made of 6,900 lenses covered with sensory hairs for detecting wind speed with three simple eyes called ocelli which are sensitive to light signals for orientation. A long tongue or proboscis which she uses to lap out nectar from deep inside the flowers and mouth parts or mandibles for eating, feeding young and manipulating wax. Its four wings embraced with tiny hooks as they search for nectar up to three kilometers from their hives and reach speeds of 24 kilometers per hour. And a weapon known as the sting, which is only used once at the cost of its life. When a bee transfers pollen from one flower to the other, the plants fertilized ovaries and large into ripe fruit. Back in the hive, the nectar stored in her special honey stomach is ejected through the mouth for storage in a honey cell. And as with all livestock, farmers are needed to help manage these bees to multiply and continue their partnership with flowers in pollinating our plants. These farmers are known as beekeepers. However, recent studies funded by the Australian Centre for International Agricultural Research, or ACR, highlight both the current decline and unrealized potential of beekeeping in the country. So currently it's about seven to eight million, as I said, and then Every year it's put in around one million kine directly into a farmer's pockets. And it's one of the activities that it has very, very minimum effect on the climate. Industry and big line industry. Now industry and recognized throughout the world. Papua New Guinea, you may supply honey blue you me. Man, but you may make him good lo money straight lo here. Now you may can kiss him plenty money now and become a uh, commodity where I'm ready to export. Papua New Guinea Ventures, based on beekeeping, has faced different setbacks due to mite infestations. 2013, people are citing one plus sick, and then people are working some kind of budget, cleaning the sick here, tropical and one plus strong sick. Now putting people go to Gaman, and Gaman is not supporting people, they are not supporting people. Now money out to the go back to coffee here, coffee very boring. However, some research that ACR is producing shows that in PNG, the viruses that are inside these mites, the loading isn't very high. Beekeeping offers many opportunities, especially for smallholder farmers. 
unlike other food products, honey doesn't spoil. So you can save it for times of need and that can be really important for um, income smoothing within the household as well. Last year, all game blood, all honey boxes we have. After a bit, bit of certificate, they'll give me two blood boxes. Then we plan come and start look out him. Based on that training blood. Then how is um, we, we been kissing uh, this year? This year I was mixing the new game cells for me and mixing one by 19 kilo. Which 19 kilo by 8 kina, so mixing one by one, 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 150, 2 kina 70. Which me how much? Because now there's a lot of honey, honey place and beating Mr. Coffee or Dog Highlands Coffee, stop under, but kilo by honey and, and winning coffee can. So me got one plus picking in the M stop P U now and finally I blog in. Na big plan money where me to pass a kissimi and me to saxim lo work lo be yeah. Me to sali mol hani na me to saxim big plan money lo dislam. So eighteen thousand one one year blo one one year year and big plan money straight here and hani bisa meeting money blo hani bisa meeting. Hani hani beam to look at me go go and or for me to and bank here I'm stop. Time to school fee come, bain or harvest go straight na bain school. Na kako you harvest na puti, em by still in cello tubi or na plasam. Hani you na harvest, em can stop over fifty years in cello box. Em savings lo worry out cello. Or say no man, em will take him really very serious lo hani bina or cello tubi. So plenty heavy lo or famous lo me, hani bina is a option. Almost a half an hour drive out of Goroka town lies a small village in the Bena district known as Kenemaro. Drive a few minutes into a small turnoff and there lies the Loye B. Apieri. It's about 8.30 Monday morning. On most days, work starts out as early as 5 a.m. Today looks like a busy day for Telaloye and his wife, Damaresh. Uh, we came, um, we got um, cold water. No, it's nearby. A pioneer in beekeeping, everyone knows him as Honey Mantella or the Bee Man. After over 30 years of working with bees, he knows their language and they have a great partnership. Since 1977, uh, I come in upload now, and uh, me start want them uh, beekeeping, na me still stop yet. So uh, there's like interest uh, blow me low before yet I come, na me still holding yet, na me stop. Um, uh, all some uh, time I been I come na work long this like time long, and uh, me go and up long uh, Highlands Agricultural College for two years, and me stop uh, make him a uh, certificate in uh, tropical agriculture. And then we come back, we stop uh, two years, and then in between this little time, I'm um, me go long Malaysia, look some of the training long uh, uh, this little apis uh, Serena, all this little league league uh, bees, Asian bees. I'm stop. Uh, 1988, um, my first uh, trip was to Israel, uh, where we go attend him uh, one plus three months um, uh, course, uh, low one plus agriculture, Rupin Agricultural Institute. Uh, so me go stop uh, three months low this la hub, and then come back he stop and then me go down low New Zealand and that was uh, one year old getter 1990-91. Uh, stop low hub now mix him school low me low hub uh, training low hub now then me come stop and uh, me stop here and me stop. Alongside queen rearing, training other beekeepers, and honey extracting. 
Mr. Loye owns the only PNG beekeeping supplies in Papua New Guinea. The shop is located in Goroka town. Tell me about Claude Esplanade. Look, look, um, uh, you got big planet, low equipment. Uh, to go into beekeeping, you have to have uh, the proper equipment. So uh, there was a guy in New Zealand. Now, he was the supplier, accurate beekeeping supplies. Now, beekeeping supplies long haul, um, uh, it was run through many generations. So this man, I knew him after uh, some 20 years. So I uh, put him proposal. I am thinking of resigning from my job. Can you help me set up? Or some equipment supplies here in Papua New Guinea. Now, generously, I'm talk, okay, uh, I'm, I'm loaning you a container of equipment. That's something unheard of. Uh, but the Slaman, I mean, went out, went out of his way. I mean, providing my uh, this like, container of equipment. And so let me come. Uh, you know, I started pro uh, providing for the the bee farmers in the country. Uh, I resigned from my job in 2015. Government and pay me 23,000 things pay. After 38 years, you know, um, what can you do with that? So, Miki sent this money, and then uh, I thought, I think I might as well uh, invest in something where I grew up with. Amongst many types of equipment, they provide nucleus hives or nuke hives, which are sold to beekeepers all over the country. This is half the size of the normal box that we um, have. Uh, have the size because uh, there's uh, two things that um, uh, two plavok longen. One pla am uh, low breeding queen, and number two, I'm long uh, developing. Uh, so, like uh, if uh, I'm, I'm into queen breeding as well, so if uh, farmers uh, ask for queen bees, I breed them uh, in the nucleus box and um, I supply. Uh, suppose no got money, kiss him, I'm only pull up now. So what I do, I uh, get the frames with the brood and bees, the queen, everything, into a standard box, uh, also in this plan. And then we put in lead base, and we put the salimic along all, all the time. Well, when you look at, um, uh, in terms of uh, bee development, uh, from here, uh, also in this area. So we put the transfer in all bees, you go inside the standard box, and then we put is salami golong all farmers. Now, time you plus salami golong all farmers, or look out him, now then uh, only produce him honey. So, in a way, yes, um, we plus increase him help in uh, the increase in honey production. We try to um, uh, manufacture uh, and provide as much as possible uh, all good quality stuff for our people, and after all, these are our people, so we have to provide the best that we can produce. Back at the farm, the bees are getting busy. Mr. Loye decides to have a bit of fun with the bees. Yes, a bee beard is very rarely seen. Bearding is a sign of a strong colony and good health. In order to make a bee beard, a queen is taken from the hive, caged, and hung around the neck as a necklace. The bees are then shaken from the queenless hive onto Mr. Loye. Do not try this at home. It's for experienced beekeepers only. It's now time to check the hives out in the other fields for honey. Me uh, play go have steam honey now. So let me call him on a checklist uh, or something where you may need him long in. Um, Smoker? Yes, it's that. Smoker is that. Okay, fuel blowing. Fuel here? Yeah? So that's that. Okay, okay, good. That's done. Um, high tool? High tool is that. B veil? Look, I'm having paste. Uh, overall? Yes. Overall? Okay, good. Uh, all extra boxes? Step on top. Step on top. Okay, split board. I want to step. We got some blood of blowing, but you may. Uh, go pick him. Um, he got um, cold water. No good sign here by kicking me below one side here by me like in the Okay, good. And um, check, please, them down. Um, you, may, you may need logo now. Uh, Lo have a steam. Masses? Hey. Stop um, pocket. Oh, stop low pocket there. Yeah. No man do it. Alright.
Upon arrival, we suited up in a bee suit to begin honey harvesting. Once the harvesting is complete, the frames filled with honey are brought back for weighing. Mipla go harvest, mipla kisimol honey come in, mipla must weigh in. So mipla kisim total kilo of box, wax, and Honey. Okay, we plug go extract. We plug come. We plug finish extract. We plug some box and uh, frames. Na kam weim ken. And the difference is the total uh, total of the wax and the honey that we plug rouse. Weim in. Weim finish. See we come from there. By me, we some frame. And then we use this uh, honey stretcher to remove. And I'll keep him. And then from here, by go inside law, extract him. And then you miss spin him, the him honey. Finally, Mrs. Lawyer's favorite part the packaging. Groka's finest pure organic honey is ready to be sold to their existing network and major supermarkets around the country. Honeybee colonies contain three types of individuals. Each hive has a single female queen, tens of thousands of female worker bees, and several hundred to several thousand male drones. As countries have prime ministers and presidents, in a bee colony, the queen bee carries out many important functions of the hive. We, we often think that the queen bee is uh, in control of everything because she's the queen, like in a society of humans, but uh, which we would actually term as a monarchy. But in a honeybee colony, even though she plays a really important role in regulating the colony and um, laying eggs, she can lay more than 2,000 eggs a day. That's more than her own body weight every single day. So she's very busy and she can live up to five years. She's actually not the boss in lots of ways. Um, the whole colony worked together to make decisions to collect food and what food to collect and they, they make these decisions based on different um, waggle dances and different communication strategies but it's one of the purest forms of a democracy. They all work together to be able to come up with the best possible solution and they're very inspiring in, the, in that way. Queen rearing is a very important process of inducing a colony to produce new queens by manipulating various colony attributes. This is when beekeepers raise queen bees from young fertilized worker bee larvae. Queens are raised in specifically constructed queen cells. This process is done by very experienced beekeepers. Lo making queen em desla hive we by you me put him desla or breeding queen em as queenless. Em no can get him queen because time queen is stop long and we blow him and by come out to Morgata desla lava yeah. 
Tedis Lenau and Selba now. Kunsel, yeah, Kunsel by Yumi Lenim Longen. So, what we do is uh, the cleaned uh, cells, we play a stick him on also. And normally, um, I put uh, 15 on a on a cell uh, bar. This play, I call him Kunsel. Uh, so, this play, I'm um, uh, play. Uh, Time we play kissing, um, selecting Queen Penis, we play selecting all, all uh, three day old lava using uh, this uh, B brush. This is a grafting brush, special uh, grafting brush. So we play kissing this and then we play putting me go inside long uh, cell where he got him this uh, three day old lava. And then we play pick him up and then we play putting me go inside long uh, Queen Cell or Sam. This is my sugar. Take a this la queen na all wake up this way by me pla put him go inside long him and me me must ready. So I use this um icing sugar. Why is it nice for them? Why also like him? Uh, well I'm cake blow okay. now. I'm cake blow now so uh by you me mix him also. Okay, this lamb honey. Ah yeah, so me pla cup set him go inside all sam. Okay, like so and then Using this lello, we, we mix him. Name is a tool, man. I have tool. Hive tool. Sorry. Mm. You can use him a spoon. No, but no, hive tool is too strong. So. Does it matter how you mix him? No. Okay. Uh, but but uh, time uh, end product long and it's uh, strong. Uh, you know, can um, malo malo too much because sun by melt him, na I can kill him. Queen blue. Oh. Yeah, it's gotta be firm and it's gotta be solid. Kake blow. Yeah, kake blow queen. Mm -hmm. Sorry, you know kake blow queen, but kake blow all wake up bees or escort bees where by me okay. putting in inside lo this la queen um, uh, cage. Okay, time we play mixing pinis and I think sugar yeah, must solid also. Okay, then um, you satisfy also. I think sugar and you're right. Okay, just put it in like that. Inside lo this la compartment. Okay, inside lo here, can we play put him? That's enough uh, to take them through for the next two or three days. Where by all stuff inside. Okay, reason why we play put him inside lo cage, uh, queen cage is that uh, this la hive where we play lego like, introduce him long and only been got him different queen, na only been got different smell long and. So, time we play kissing nothing, I put him and go inside. Ah, Bolto, I'm, I'm sad. I'm, because I can't want another play smell. Without them knowing that uh, Queen me play killing penis. So, uh, I'm about to kill him. So, what we do, the reason why me, we me play put him go inside long Queen Cage is that uh, uh, all he can step inside, na smell belong in. You know, he got him this like all uh, opening his tab. Lo here is tab. So, all below this la box where mama eat die long in, all by kissing smell long in lo here, scent long in here, perfume long in here. Uh, normal term is uh, pheromone. 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 Only kissing lo him, na only pass him throughout lo all this la high here. Na because this la nupla smell only pheromone only kiss him smell only kiss him na all spread him. Okay, I'm now I'm all line lo high where only been stop long in here. All start like uh, kake lo here. Na this la I'm do where I'm by come out long in. So all, all the hive, all bees inside lo this la hive, but all start take lo here. And then this like uh, eight to ten worker bees where by all the stuff, all like go out. So all must try lo take lo here and uh, try to find their way out. So after two or three days, I'm now about to make him an opening. So queen now, and me go out. Now, by that time, I'm pheromone here. I'm, I'm, it's all in the hive, so time queen go, all except him also, I'm up long. Mr. Loye prepares sugar syrup for the colony. So we play cup set him go inside. Uh, cup uh, sugar. Yes. So triple cup hot water. One. This is a substitute for nectar from flowers, but very necessary to keep your bees alive from time to time. Sugar syrup is used to help bees recover from unnatural situations. In PNG, honey season lies between October and February every year. 
This is when there is surplus nectar. Right now, they need a bit of food. During the off-season, the queen reduces her egg production to five to six hundred eggs a day. A strong and actively laying queen is one of the crucial components of a successful honeybee colony. There are several reasons, however, that will force a colony to naturally produce a new queen. The most important are aging or sick queens, swarming or crowded hives, and missing queens. A beekeeper who understands the reasons behind these behaviors can create environments that encourage the colony to create new queens. Because queens mate with up to 15 drones, the distribution of genes in a honey bee hive is fairly diverse. Naturally, the more colonies you have, the more honey can be produced. In Papua New Guinea, the National Department of Agriculture and Livestock in the Highlands region is the only specialized office which has bee officers working on actual development of the apiculture industry. The headquarters is based in the country's agricultural hub, Eastern Highlands Province. When we started beekeeping with the department in uh, around 1974 and 5, and they were focusing on extension to produce honey and sell to the uh, processing plants. So it was all about making money. And the department didn't actually go into research, and we saw that that was lacking. According to ACR research, it has become evident that beekeeping in the Pacific Islands is under threat from limited technical beekeeping skills, inefficient queen breeding programs, increasing pests and diseases, and quality control issues related to harvesting and post-harvest handling. The research center, through a four-year collaboration with the PNG National Department of Agriculture, Coffee Industry Corporation, NGOs and other private sectors began trying to find solutions to these beekeeping problems. Improving access to information to manage pests and diseases, particularly for tropolalaps and varroa mites. Um, we're looking at honeybee nutrition, so bees uh, feed on flowers and you have to know what the value of those flowers are and when they're going to come into flower in order to make management decisions. Um, we're looking at post-harvest handling and packaging and trying to support the private sector. Um, we're also looking at participatory approaches to beekeeping to make it more inclusive, to get women and youth involved, and also trying to um, enhance access to education, extension and training services for beekeepers. Many farmers faced challenges with the technicalities of beekeeping, causing them to not process honey to the full potential of their bees. Me, me look out in bee, me no been harvest for say five years. I'm, I'm okay, lo me lo look out in but you say lo time lo me lo uh, harvest. Me no lo side lo tiri me okay, I'm, I'm alright lo me. But come lo time lo practical, me find him hardly leak. I think most of our farmers too all find him just like the same problem as me find him. And na plenty all give up. Na me me no give up for five years. Uh, all DAL officers, me care and talk, me got problem. I talk, hey, why? You have a school here, you got certificate finish. And me talk, yes, but theory, I'm all right, but the practical, me find him hard. All come in, I want to show me, all stop wanting me, assist me. And now me, Papa finish. Me have a good law, work will be. And therefore, attention into such areas going forward is vital for all beekeepers. With so much potential in this industry, Research will help bring about solutions and help make informed decisions, which is what the industry is struggling with. That we start to be able to 
understand which factors are influencing productivity and um, the income that we're making. And if we can identify what those factors are, it means we can tailor our efforts to be able to try to enhance the um, incomes for farmers and to improve their um, resilience and their livelihoods. So research is really important in lots of ways to identifying what the strategic priorities are. It is evident that the PNG beekeeping industry has great potential to generate income for smallholder farmers and others along the value chain. However, it has struggled to grow with increasing pest and disease pressure identified as major threats to the industry's viability. Something that some of the research we're producing is actually showing that unlike lots of other countries like in America and in um, other countries where we're seeing major losses of honeybees in Papua New Guinea the viruses that are actually inside these mites isn't um, very high. The, the loading isn't very high. We don't have um, deformed wing virus, for example, which is a major threat to um, the bee industry. So that's a really interesting finding because it has really important biosecurity um, outcomes for lots of other Pacific Island countries and for Australia as well. Because of the natural resource that we have, we can easily produce uh, more than 200 tons, and that's uh, equal to the uh, local need or demand of PNG. During a stakeholders workshop conducted by ACR, the three biggest challenges faced by smallholder farmers were identified. Ranking second highest in votes was marketing the finished product, with the highest being materials needed for successful beekeeping. We have uh, industry players like processors, Niguni Foods is one of them, Mountain Honey of Kalina is one of them. So these, these are the key stakeholders that provide the market for our farmers. So. I say, I say, honey, 300 plus farmers are all and recently PNG Honey, an arm of Lay Biscuit Company, has come on board to provide a market for honey. Their vision, they have visions, you know, these farmers. They talk about one day, oh, we want to, you know, have our honey, you know, being exported. It's just the journey, how they're going to get there. So that's the reason why PNG Honey, together with Lay Biscuit, we've come in to help to fulfill that vision. Many honey consumers tend to wonder why PNG made organic honey is very expensive and lean towards purchasing imported honey. Because you have to understand the transportation, the road condition and everything, it's very costly and sometimes the road condition is not good. Some of these farmers, they live like right in the bushes. Concerns have been also raised regarding price instability and decline. ACR's research through discussions with relevant stakeholders and beekeepers showed that sometimes honey cooperatives lowered the price due to unusually high honey production, leading to supply exceeding processing capacity and financial capital to purchase honey. Honey processors need support to ensure honey processing and purchasing can meet supply so that beekeepers have a consistent market to their honey. Bee products can also be marketed through existing networks. There is one hurdle that will cause a big drop in buyers wanting to purchase PNG's organic honey. 
This hurdle can make or break a commodity, especially when it comes to market. So market here and back in. Market is no problem. We get big potential, but problem no blood from us. M uh, quality. Time you meet him there's something. Market is no problem. It's very important, you know, because consumers, as a consumer, you want to know where your honey came from, how it's processed, um, how it's handled. As more research by the National Department of Agriculture and Livestock, ACR, and relevant stakeholders is implemented, quality produce will need to be highlighted in their workshops and discussions. Most of the beekeepers stress that quality is something they all need to address and improve on. Questions that need to be asked are how do these small holder farmers achieve quality in extracting their honey in their rural setting and what can they do to start today. Quality control plays a vital role for the development of the honey industry in the country. We, the only thing is we have to do it right. We have to, you know, get the government to realize that there is a market and we have to take care of our market, you know. And if we can export out, that will be good for our country. It will be really good for the farmers and the people here. While beekeeping is an important income generating activity for many rural people in home gardens and houses, the barriers limiting participation by women has been poorly understood. Me plus a talking mall is coffee and blow man, be and blow you marry. Because time you plan him coffee, man by talk you plan him look ground blow me. But marry time man rousing me, you up in be box, you go penis, one time be box blow you. That's the advice me plus I give him, encourage him all. Those are my muscle. It's a little coin so I see him in a kind of sense. I'm not needing big plahap, ground low stuff. I'm also in house backside something. So me like talk talk low, mama where mama man do see more now I'll come stop low place the whole or all pain in life. I'm hard na plant all picking in in na all looking more sem no got pay low kissing money em road boxing money em be here. You me look at him be but you mix him plant him money na. Life bago is The ACR project highlighted that there is good potential for improving beekeeping capacity for both women and youth in supporting inclusion and diversification among small family beekeeping businesses. To add to the major challenges faced, COVID-19 affected the ongoing project and business for smallholder farmers. So this is a partnership project. So it means we have beekeepers going to different places and meeting with different people. And we have specialists from Australia who are coming to PNG and we've got different people moving around and it's been quite difficult to do that at the moment. So that's probably the major challenge that we're facing. Movement you I mean, was restricted. Um, you got some line where only been uh, tinting low buy honey, only been deposit um, I play holy mogeta because balusi no naplo karim honey go, kari no naplo move, shipi no naplo move. Na kain no se ligli ke semi o semi ha mi kisim big la bagram. Mi play golo micro stage pinis, but mi play run down got big la heavy finance em kama em kripoli mi play even honey mi supply mlo all all distributors mlo mi all kari mi go. Oto mi play no salim planti honey time mlo business mlo play em go ligli. So only not give him money, even over two, three months of paying back me. The project's success is often measured in numbers of hives or the amount of honey produced. However, ACR is also looking into different areas as well to measure the project's progress. So it's about talking to the farmers and saying, has this project helped you with your income or um, with how happy you are, have you been able to achieve your goals that you've been um, working towards in your aspirations? So 
ultimately, um, uh, income is really important <clears throat> and beekeeping incomes is something that we're going to try to improve. Um, that often comes about by either one of two things, either increasing production, like making more honey or more wax, but it also can be by value adding to existing products by increasing the profitability. Currently, the honey industry is worth seven to eight million kina. However, not much support has been given to push it forward. As these smallholder farmers now utilize new ways of increasing productivity, quality control is an area that needs to be looked into. These smallholder farmers are already producing products that are being sold on the shelves for purchase. It is also evident that more training is needed to help the beekeepers to produce honey to the full potential of their bees. As research by the National Department of Agriculture and Livestock, the Australian Centre for International Agricultural Research and other stakeholders continues, it will help everyone in the industry make more informed decisions. It's also really important that we consider the, um, the fact that we're purchasing livestock. Bees, just like any other type of livestock, need to be managed. In the old days, you used to be able to keep hives in forests when there was lots of trees around and there was no pests and diseases and we could expect them to be productive. Things have changed and increasingly beekeepers need to manage their hives and it's the best beekeepers who are willing to learn the most and put the most effort in who will keep their hives alive.